Shalom. All praise to the Most High Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekakodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who will well. Peace and salutation, brother. Hopefully, let's push this word of truth and sincerity. All right, I'm with an article here, and it says from the New York Post um, Quebec to impose health tax on the unjuiced residents. All right. So you can see this pretty much going on, you know, in these other in these other countries, you know, these other nations, uh, you know, we're dealing with that, you know, that thriller in Manila. OK, um, because they they want everybody, you know, juiced up. But ultimately, you know, they 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 want you to comply with, with what they got going on, okay? Because this is a part of their, you know, their NWO. All right? Because we know that ultimately, the end game is to have that karagma in everyone. All right? And once, like I said, it's, it's, it's a stupid plan, you know? <laughs> There's nothing smart about it. But hey, this is actually what they want. You know, total control. All right. But remember, all roads lead to the Karagma. Okay, from the whole um, the supply chain breakdown. Uh, and remember, this is not something that's just happening in Babylon the Great. This is a global thing. Okay, you got the, the wars, um, tensions between the different nations okay you have so much going on in the earth you really can't even keep up with everything all right but I'll go ahead and read this article here it says the canadian province of quebec has announced that it will impose a new health contribution tax on people who are not juiced against the c not c19 all right and <laughs> you see, say it says a health contribution. <laughs> All right. All right. So it says we are working on a health contribution for all the adults who are refusing to get thrilled because they are a financial burden for all uh, Quebecos. I guess I, I guess is how you say it. Uh, Quebec Premier uh, Francois. The GOAT said Tuesday, according to according to Aliens France Priest, whatever. <clears throat> Only about ten percent of the residents in Canada's second most populous province are unjuiced. They are unvenessed, okay? But they make up half of all people in intensive care, he said. Now I'm I'm gonna I'm continue on before I say what I gotta say. Just over 85 percent of the residents had received at least one by January 1st, according to the federal data cited by the BBC. Now, when it comes to those hospitalizations and and all this stuff, it's actually been proven that most of that is false. When when it comes to dealing with the the unjuiced versus the juiced that are uh, hospitalized, because uh, but then I tell you is that most people that actually come in these hospitals are actually vanessed. Okay. They have actually been, you know, they have actually been, uh, you know, compromised. They'd have been poked. They didn't got the big poke it better. All right. Moving on. It says the golf said Tuesday. <clears throat> that the amount that will be collected has not yet been decided, but noted that it will be significant. So that means it's not going to be no $100 fine, no $10 fine, no $50 fine, no, you know, it, it says it's going to be significant. Matter of fact, let's look at the word significant.
All right, this is significant, significant, uh, so like sufficiently great or important to be worthy of attention or noteworthy, having a particular meaning or in, in, indicate, in, indicative, so like of something, indicative, that's what it is, so like having a particular meaning or indicative of something. But look at that first definition sufficiently great or important to be worthy of attention or noteworthy so it's going to be something that's going to grasp your attention okay that's why i said it's not going to be no ten dollar fine no hundred dollar fine no five hundred dollar fine or something like that it'll probably be something like uh those who are unjuiced uh, get a ten thousand dollar fine or fifty thousand dollar fine Possibly a hundred thousand dollar fine, jail time. It's gonna be something that's going to as grab your attention. It's like I say, it's gonna be noteworthy. Okay, it's gonna be something that's gonna be like, whoa, whoa, now that that's that's what it means by being significant. All right, and it says. I think right now is a question of fairness for 90 percent of the population who made some sacrifices. The girl said, I think we owe them this kind of measure. He added, I feel this discontent with regard to the unjuice minority, which all things considered clogs our hospitals. Well, there you go again. In total, 2,742 C patients are hospitalized and about 255 in intensive care intensive care in Quebec, which has about 8 million residents. Uh, Legault said people who have got, not gotten jabbed for medical reasons will be exempt from the tax. On December 30th, Quebec announced the return of certain restrictions, including a 10 p.m. curfew and a ban on private gatherings. Uh, Eric Dumay the head of Quebec's conservative position party assailed that assailed the plan tax saying it would only divide, which is true. You gotta remember that's that's the, that's another thing that's a part that's supposed to this is uh, putting the difference or the division between the the unjuiced and the juiced or the the, the anti and the and the uh, pro. Okay, uh, Dominique Anglade who heads Quebec's Liberal Party, called the tax a distraction, though she is in favor of mandatory taxations. Mandatory, uh, you know, Vanessa's. All right, that's, that's about it on the article, though. But they want to impose a tax, okay? They want to, they, they call it a tax, but it's, it's really like a fine, basically, you know? Or, you know, it'll be something like... Uh, you know, basically, you'll just pay more <laughs> to do stuff or pay more on, you know, you know, just whatever they decide to do. But anyway, I, I just thought that that article was interesting, so I just wanted to bring that out. So uh, let's get a couple of scriptures on it. Uh, let's see. It's Isaiah chapter 10, verse 1. Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees, and that right grievousness which they prescribe. All right, and, and this is that's what they do. They're literally writing uh, a decree, an unrighteous decree, because to impose that type of tax on the people is a a very unrighteous and grievous, you know, decree that they prescribe and they write. But you got to remember, their their job is to put hell on the people okay and ultimately ultimately they're 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 trying to put hell on jake they're trying to put hell on your tribes remember you guys do have an enemy we have an enemy okay and your, your enemy wants to put hell on you everyone else of the other of the other nations or even their own people they're what they call collateral damage okay if they get caught up in it hey they just got caught up in it but it's for you ultimately jake they want to take you down all right. Let's see, this is Psalm chapter 94, verse 20. Shall the throne of iniquity have fellowship with thee, which frameth mischief by law? And that's what they do, okay? 
they are a throng of iniquity, okay? <laughs> and they frame mischief by law, okay? They uh they they're constantly, you know, doing whatever it takes to hurt people, constantly do whatever it takes to put hell on you. And they do it by literally writing in laws through legislation. You know, that's that's how they do it. All right. So this is why you cannot trust them. Matter of fact, let's let's get uh, the scriptures that say that, which this comes out a lot, but you really can't say it enough because our people just don't get it. They don't understand. All right, Sirach so chapter twelve verse ten. The Lord put us up on game. He let us know how to maneuver. All right, uh, never trust thine enemy. Never trust thine enemy. For like as iron rusteth, so is his wickedness. So iron is going to rust, okay? It's guaranteed. Iron is going to rust. It's going to oxidate. It's going to oxidize, okay? When it's, especially when it's out in the elements, that's what it's going to do, all right? So the same thing when it comes to uh, our enemy's wickedness. It's going to show forth, all right? And no matter how much they hide it, how much they try to cover it up, they act like they good, so holy, you know, so loving, so caring, their wickedness is going to show forth, okay? Their true intent will show forth because they frame mischief by law. And matter of fact, they sleep with uh, sleep not unless they've done mischief. I said we're going to get that. This is Proverbs chapter 4, verse 14. Enter not into the path of the wicked. All right. So you can see who is it talking about. And go not in the way of evil men. Avoid it. Pass not by it. Turn from it and pass away. All right. So avoid the wicked. Okay. Don't go. Don't go. uh, Don't go. uh, 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 Make a covenant with the wicked. Don't go go along and hey, going you know join hand in hand unto the wicked. Avoid them. All right. Don't even pass by. Them, all right. Now that don't mean when you see uh, uh, an Edomite in the street, uh, you know who you who you perceive to be an Edomite that that you know you literally don't you don't you don't pass by them. You don't speak to them. You know you know it's like come on now. You got to use balance with it. You know you have to you know, you have to, have to understand what it's really saying. All right. It's basically you you are stewing or you're avoiding evil, okay? All right, but this is why, verse 16. For they sleep not, except they have done mischief. And their sleep is taken away unless they cause some to fall. You see that? They can't rest. You you wonder why, why the wicked is constantly, constantly coming up with more and more wicked, evil things to do. Uh, you know, to, to torture Jay, to put hell on you, okay? To 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 uh, what what, the, what they say we're trying to do? Uh, to s- send missiles to the moon, you blow up, you know, send missiles to the moon. Uh, <laughs> de- detonating um nuclear missiles. I mean, not nuclear missiles, but uh, uh, missiles out in the ocean, like like um, cutting out organs out of animals. And and man, I'm I'm telling you, they. They cannot sleep unless they literally put in hell on you. So, like how how what how righteousness makes us happy and, and, and doing following out the ways of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai is pleasing unto us. Wickedness and unrighteousness is pleasing unto them. Okay? Their spirit, their spirit is irritated if they can't do if they can't do wickedness. Okay? Just like our spirit is irritated to be around weakness. It's, it's, it's vexed to be around weakness. And the, the fact that things are so out of course, things are so out of order. Things are just in such an unrighteous and wicked state. All right. But them coming up with these things like this, this is them framing mischief by law. And, and they, they, they have to come up a, with a way to put hell on you. Otherwise, they can't rest. All right. But this is just a quick video on that article. Uh, I hope you was edified. Shalom.